this is Playmobello and this is set 9112 from the year 2017. This is actually a set that continues the sets from 2015. It's the bar, the tavern, from the animation from 2015 from Playmobil. If you remember the beginning of the animation, the character works in a bar, in a tavern. There's also this green guy here. He's a cool looking pirate. He might be a captain or just like a cool soldier. You zoom in a little bit. It looks absolutely awesome in there. It's full of bottles. It has jugs, coffee, wine. It has a cannon, a parrot, even a parrot. It has a ceiling in the roof here that you push. Shaft door that you can use to go up here and hide maybe from the pirates. This tavern also has a trap. If you look up here, let's say this pirate is approaching them and he's like being very bad and mean. Give me free ale. What he can do, he can walk away from here and say, hey, grab your own ale. He jumps out here on the countertop. See you here, my thumb. You push this lever. And he has knives under it, look at that. Five knives on, under the candles and he stabs him to death. That's a pretty tragic way to pass. The owner of the bar can just be happy and have a merry drink. But you can take the, every single knife out of the thing or every single candle and use it individually as you please. To put this back, you push this in and put that in and boom, it's in there. And sit down on one of the chairs, drink your ale and have fun by candlelight. You can hold the candlelight. You can sneak into the ceiling, find a treasure map and then use some candlelight to read it. You can hold a bottle, you can hold a treasure bag or it can be any kind of bag. Maybe it's a bag full of grains or coffee, who knows. You can go nuts and shoot a cannon right onto the pirate's face. Oh, you can just shoot at all the bottles and see what kind of damage you can make. Yee! Arr, I'm a good pirate. Ah. You can drink a lot of ale and dance on top of the countertop. Candelabro falls on your head. At the end of the day, you can have a fist fight. <laughs> this set is worth around $40 or less. This is the box it's a very large box you see the size of the box versus the size of the house <laughs> look at that <laughs> and this is the back of the box once again it has some features being shown the candelabra being tossed down the ground that little compartment some powder barrels up here they drop on someone's head there is also the accessories which is a very small little circle i believe playmobile should make this a lot bigger because the most and coolest thing about Playmobil is all the accessories and the little pieces as a feature. So they should showcase a lot more than all of these empty spaces. Just like we saw in the box, let's put it to the test. <coughs> oh, what it looks like once you have the house fully closed. Look at that. This is where you open the thing. You push this like that and it opens. Then you close like that and it closes it. This is the back of it pretty plain. This, the roof is cool. It looks medieval. The front looks really nice. Once you open it though. This is what it looks like without any other accessory. I left the candelabra up there and the parrot because they're kind of accessories you do put in there. There is this thing here that you can move anywhere you want. You can move to this side here if you want or to this side. Thing comes with two pieces like this. You just adjust this yellow thing here. See the yellow thing? And it keeps the floor from moving it. And this part here will go under this one where there is a little connection and we'll keep that part from moving. There you go. Now they connect. And the cool thing about that is that you can kind of lift it and it doesn't fall. It's not very strong. See, it does fall if you punch on it or put too much weight on it. But it kind of holds enough for you to kind of carry around without causing too much damage on the lift. Look at the details on that wall. There's a big barrel here, candles, a bunch of cups and plates and all kinds of cool stuff in there. Some barrels on the other side. On this side you have two windows that represents these windows right here. And a big door with some pirate swords hanging on it. The door does not open of course, just a drawing. But the drawing does help a lot. It makes the set look awesome. Here are all the accessories that comes with this set. There are a lot. Don't forget, there are five candles, five little knives on this candelabra. There is this cool looking shelf for all the bottles and cups. This is a table that dismantles from the barrel. 
the cannon, the wooden panel that comes with the cannon that you can just have them both together and the treasure map. That's how the treasure map looks like. Three are green, three are red, a big spoon, three little barrels for powder for the cannon, bucket, two characters, a large metal inside. It's very heavy too, it's awesome. There's the hat for this guy, the hat for this guy is actually a red bandana, a pistol, a cool looking pirate pistol, two candles that you can hold, the parrot, it does come off the little golden parrot holder thing, a nice pirate sword with the holster for the pirate, the green pirate guy, five cups, one jug, could be coffee, could be ale, depends on what you want to play with. Mice is one is sitting, one is just running, I guess, and two projectiles. One is right inside the cannon, don't forget that. Another barrel with a faucet to get beer or ale out of there. A cool bag full of treats. Two seats, one is big, one is small. And the countertop that has a little sticker with the pirate symbol in there, the two swords. This is how the other side looks like. And that's it. This is how the characters look like. They're pretty awesome looking. This guy here is very well designed. A big jacket. This guy here has a little jacket in there. He has a long hair. It is the pirate set from Playmobil. Set 9112. Voices of ghosts. What is this? What is this?